Good morning dear students. It's after a long break we are again together and I hope you all are doing good and you are safe too. We know that our situations are not favorable for us to begin our normal classes. But online classes have already started for you and you are getting wonderful classes through Victor's channel. I hope you all watch these lessons. What we teachers are expected to do is a kind of follow up for these online lessons. So today let's have a look at the first unit of our English textbook. When we go through the index of our textbook, it's very clear that we have five units and in each unit you are having three or four lessons. So regarding the first unit which is titled as Flights of Freedom, we have a speech a poem a short story and an anecdote and you know that each unit is based on a particular idea or a central theme and the first unit is based on the theme of women empowerment you have listened to the online class and you are having a clear idea regarding the theme of the first unit it is the empowerment of women it basically focuses on what is the need for empowering women and what are the ways of empowering women okay so in these different lessons the different aspects of the same theme is being treated in different ways So firstly we have a speech which is made by Christine Lagarde and you have attended the class too so you will be having a clear idea regarding what are the three elements of empowerment as the title suggests we know that it is learning labor and leadership Christine Lagarde is the first woman to become the finance minister of a G8 economy and to head the monetary fund. As a finance minister, she highlights the role of women in the economic development of a country. We know that more than 50% of a country is populated by women and if these women are being blocked from contributing something to the growth of a country how can a nation be developed so the role of women is a very important uh, factor in the development in the economic development of a country apart from this we have to make discussions on how these th- three factors are going to help women in attaining freedom economic independence and how their lives are going to be changed in their family in their society etc next we have a poem any woman which is written by catherine tunnan who is an irish poet any woman is a poem which celebrates womanhood and it also presents the all embracing power of a woman to hold her family together we all are reminded of our own mothers and we are going to realize the real worth of a mother next we have a wonderful short story called matchbox which is written by asha purnadevi who is a bengali writer this is really an interesting story which clearly shows the plight of a poor woman who are to suffer all her problems in her husband's house silently here we have a character called numita and she is married to a rich man only on the merit of her beauty she has no father she has no brothers and she has only a poor widowed mother both numita and her mother these are the two characters which are representative of the poor illiterate women who are to suffer all their troubles in their life nomida is a poor victim of the patriarchal society that is a male dominated society and this lesson urges us to educate the women to get them employed what we have to understand from this lesson is that when we think of nomida or her poor mother if they were educated if they were employed 
how different their life would have been that's what we have to think about it and finally we have a lesson horigallu which is written by sudha murthy this is a beautiful lesson and it is a recollection of her childhood experience we will talk about it uh, in a detailed manner when we come to that lesson so for the time being i am winding up this video and i hope you are very familiar with the four lessons of this unit thank you